Target 12 investigators continue their in-depth coverage of the housing crisis as short-term rentals continue to pop up all over Rhode Island. And a state lawmaker studying the issue says local cities and towns have been caught by surprise. Target 12 investigator Sarah Grinelli is here now with what she's learned. Sarah. Two years after a statewide short-term rental registry was launched, we found the state has issued zero fines to property owners who are in compliance with the law. The Short-Term Rental Study Commission has been meeting since 2023, looking at a wide range of topics concerning short-term rentals in cities and towns across the state. I think that the expansion of this industry has really caught municipal and state governments and county governments some places really by surprise, and it's a worldwide phenomenon. State Representative Lauren Carson, who heads up the commission, says the challenge has been for the state to catch up with municipalities who already have their own ordinances designed to regulate short-term rentals in place. There's about 10 municipalities that have ordinances. It's sort of like a mishmash of things. They have some things in common. In an effort to try and crack down short-term rentals, the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation launched a short-term rental registry in the fall of 2022. Homeowners who don't register were supposed to be hit with a fine up to $1,000. But Target 12 found two years later, not a single fine has been issued. A spokesperson for DBR says they weren't given any resources to enforce the registration. Some municipalities have also created registries. So what we have now is a situation where take a town like Newport where I live and maybe you have 300 people on the municipal registration and 900 on the state registration system. Short term rental owners are required to register with the state and in other communities like Newport who already have their own registry. Carson says she would like to bridge the gap. So I think we need to make it really easy in the next few years that when you register for one, you register for the other one and that will clean up some of the issues there. Newport's mayor Zai Komsavorovong says the state's registry has been helpful to ensure short-term rentals are operating safely. However, unlike the state's registry, Newport has taken action on homeowners who aren't complying with the registry, in some cases fining landlords and taking them to court. That three-part strategy is helping us increase enforcement and compliance. The struggle we're dealing with now, to be totally frank, is that the max fee allowed for us under our city's charter is $1,000. That's the maximum fine that we can levy against a bad actor. Meanwhile, state lawmakers are also looking into taxes. Currently, hotels in Rhode Island have a 5% state hotel tax that does not exist with short-term rentals. My opinion is that they really are businesses. You know, I mean, the platform themselves, Airbnb, VRBO, they are businesses. Overall, she says she would like the state to create an outline for municipalities to follow at the state level. So I'm hoping that we could create a framework, like you say, at the state level that will guide some municipalities. Carson says the commission is also looking at public safety, like exploring if short term rentals should be inspected by the fire department with the same standard as hotels. With the Target 12 investigators, Sarah Rodelli, 12 News.